Virgo. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? I hope you are well. My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get Spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will absolutely love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from spirit, particularly in the niche of business. He is absolutely a business genius. His information is going to be down below. But let's get started, Virgo, because that was fast. Let me tell you, Spirit has messages for you. These are some very exciting cards, I'm going to be honest with you. So there looks like there's going to be a new beginning that's going to present itself in your life. This new beginning is going to come when you uh, come to a realization of something that needs to come to an end. Almost like that aha epiphany moment of like, this just isn't working. Why do I continuously put myself in this position? It's going to be one of those moments, which is a great moment. It's a ten of swords, rock bottom, like this is it right understand that when this opportunity when the, when this time comes at first it may feel a little overwhelming in the department of adversity and challenge it may feel exhausting you may feel depleted you may feel hard on yourself you may feel like not again but don't ride this wave okay just look at this wave as as destiny unfolding because remember we only are able to evolve when we have adversity placed in front of us because otherwise we wouldn't change anything we'd be living our lives the same way because we're like things are great why would we change anything right don't broke don't if it ain't broke don't fix it right so remember that this awareness is going to evolve the energy because what's going to happen then is remember this is an intention-based uh, universe right it's an intention-based video game we're all playing here and so you can either intend what you desire or you can react to your circumstances okay so you can react to this ten of swords moment not again here we go oh my gosh what's going on the universe hates me you know we can we can play into that re that emotion you know it's your choice right that's the best part is that our lives are our responsibility right we have the choice to determine where we go but that's no fun. Who wants to do that, right? That's not fun at all. And that's not what we came here to do. And your spirit guides really want to press that, that there's another way. There's another way, Virgo. And the other way now is to intend what you would like to come from this. Now, remember, when, when, whenever we have uh, something happen in our lives where it does feel a little stressful on the spirits, um, we want to make sure that we, we take time to rest from that adversity, right? Not be hard on ourselves. So that's the time where you want to take time to, well, you want to meditate every day because meditation connects us with our team, with our guides and angels, and most importantly, with our higher self. And if we don't meditate every single day, we get lost in the matrix here. We get lost in the video game and we forget. We forget that we are immortal internal beings, right? Internal, immortal, spiritual beings living a temporary human experience. We forget. We for truly forget that. We think that this is it for us. We're going to croak and that's it. And it just doesn't work like that. Our souls live on forever. We're infinite, right? And the wisdom within your spirit that knows where you want to go, your higher self is leading you but again if we don't meditate every day and have some level of, of journaling self-reflection and, and, and personal development we don't connect with our higher self we're constantly living through the viewpoint of our smaller self which tends to react to our life the higher self creates in order to align smaller and higher self we got to make sure that we are only speaking words of abundance speaking words of i can i am i will right that's what your higher self connects with because your higher self knows you can you will and and you are your higher self knows your smaller self doesn't believe that so your higher self your smaller self excuse me is going to try to influence you you're not enough you're not this enough you're not that enough you're not good enough you're not smart enough and your higher self's like i ain't buying it virgo nice try i'm not aligning with that and then things are going to feel disconnected because you're not aligning with your higher self you see how that works so in order to connect the two you must start from a place of speaking very general i'm so grateful for all the opportunities the universe is lining up for me i am that connects right i'm so grateful that um, my life is abundant and that the uh, that the universe loves me that connects right i'm so grateful that i am an immortal eternal being living a human experience that would connect right anything that connects the two you know you're on the right path that's the path to take right you're in conflict 
with your life. You're wondering which way to go, right? You start very general, right? I'm excited and eager for the opportunities the universe has lined up. That connects. Anything that connects us keeps us feeling peaceful and satisfied. This level of satisfaction is going to be able to bring forward this new opportunity in a way so that you're able to see it and capitalize on it. So you see this 10 of swords moment that you're going to experience is what's going to lead you to an even greater opportunity. And so it is. It always is this way, right? Whenever we face that experience, that, that, that challenge, that's really our greatest salvation. And the universe has to implement um, these challenges in our lives so that we are able to move forward. Now, remember, you may face a time or an energy of feeling a little bit lackluster due to this transformation, and that is completely normal. It is completely normal to feel lost and disconnected and alone when we are out of alignment with ourselves. But always remember, Virgo, that feeling of scarcity only comes because your smaller self and your higher self are not connected. And the way you get back into those alignment is, first of all, meditation every day, 20 minutes daily. That's all it takes because that 20 minutes is going to stop the resistance. All you have to do is sit in silence and pretend you're listening. Well, not pretend, <laughs> actually like listen, um, but it's the act of listening. So you're consciously listening, right? That way you're not speaking out of your mind. And it's okay if thoughts come in, just watch them go by like clouds, not a big deal. Put in some meditation music. It's, it's, I find it helpful. And just know that you do that and you start to self-reflect, you start to learn new things, you start to be listen to the, the whispers and, and the guidance of, of where your heart and your spirit guides are leading you, and that's when the transformation happens. Okay, that's when the transformations happen. So I don't want you to fall into the the, the energy of, of woe is me and this sucks and oh no, don't play into it. Don't give into the fear program. It's just a program. It's just an illusion. It's not who you are. And the more that you feed the fear, the fear, the higher that grow, that fear will grow. And again, it's not real. It's just an illusion. What's real is love. Follow the love, follow the fun. That is real. That's always going to be real every time. And that's going to bring you forward out of this energy of, 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 of perhaps feeling like maybe you didn't make the right choice or perhaps feeling like things didn't go the way that you thought it was going to just know that you are always placed in an energy in a circumstance of what it is that you need to learn every moment in this schoolroom earth is a lesson every single time thing even if it may come in the form of feeling not so uh, abundant know that even with that is the opportunity to heal. And whenever we do come from this perspective, it's that's that's the best part because we keep the portal of receival open, right? Because the it, the portal of receival, like the receival mode only can be opened if we're eager and excited and joyful and opportunistic. And 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 and, and I know in, in during the times of our lives where we do face that adversity and things do feel daunting having that practice where you sit with yourself and you connect with your team and, and your soul because your soul is the only truth in this illusion video game we're in that your soul is, bears the only truth it is the vip access to the codes of the video game and so when you connect with those codes when you connect with that access that's when you are truly able to feel relief you're, you're going to feel peace you're going to remind yourself and remember oh yeah i'm an internal immortal being living a temporary human experience none of this is real i create create my reality by the thoughts I think, by the, by, the, by the thoughts I intend. And so a lot of the times when we are, we are unable to connect to that, that, that remembrance, it is that indication we need to surrender to what it is that we are doing. We need to take a step back from what it is we are currently trying to, to achieve. Take a step back from work. Take a mental health day, right? Take a step away from your relationship, right? Take some space for yourself. Just take a day. Take a day for you, Virgo. Take a day, do, do, have a Virgo day. Have a Virgo day. Do whatever it is that you want. Have the most fun, the most joy ever you could possibly have. Take it for yourself. Take that sick day. Take it off from work. None of it matters. That one day is not going to hurt nobody. You know what I mean? Take it for yourself. Surrender. Because I'll tell you, as simple as just having a day for you brings so much enlightenment, brings so much peace, and brings so much recovery and remembrance of what it is that we're really here to do and that really is just have a beautiful life have fun enjoy the process learn things you know try new things you know be guided towards a be guided towards a, something exciting and exhilarating and fun and with the healer card popping up for a go know that and remember you are always a healer and you have a powerful gift and remember your genius is your uniqueness right you're you're you're, you're a genius but it's in the form of your own uniqueness, you see, and no one can take your uniqueness and no one has your uniqueness. You are a, a, a very um, uh, individual, no, that's not the right word. You are a very, um, well, you're, well, let's put it this way. Let's put it simple. Let's make this a lot easier here. Your uniqueness 
is you know you are the best at it okay you're a genius at what it is that makes you you there we go that's what i'm trying to get out know that you are the best at it and the thing is is you are a healer and your powerful healing gifts come forward when you are having fun when you are enjoying the ride when you are coming from an energy of eagerness and excitement not despair and oh no and woe is me that won't guide you to what's rightfully yours remember that's a fear program that is your smaller self trying to influence your higher self and your higher self is like i'm not buying it i don't believe you that's not what we came here to do sorry smaller self i'm not going to connect with that and then smaller self is like oh no and then we feel even more separate because we're like oh no we're not connected we're alone here and your higher self no you're not we're all up here waiting for you to connect just just follow the good vibes follow the good vibes virgo follow the love and then your smaller self is like okay well well well, well the universe is always working out for me okay that feels good okay well i understand that i i'm a, a mortal being i can do whatever i want okay that feels good eventually you'll connect with that so keep following the love keep following the fun and just know that you are being guided stay true to your path as that healer self heal yourself first from the inside and know that that will project into the everyday life of your world all right virgo i hope you enjoyed your reading i hope there was a message in here for you if there was like share and subscribe i truly appreciate you spirit loves you i love you virgo and until our next reading keep shining baby